Now we're going to solve the number 9 question. So 9 to 151, chapter 18, the little chemistry. So I advise you to study before watching this video. So let's start with the rules that we will use in this chapter. First rule is about the calculating EMF in reduction potential. EMF equal EMF of cathode minus EMF of anode. And in oxidation, EMF of anode minus EMF of cathode. So these are the equations that we will use in this chapter. So pause the video and study it again. So let's start with the first equation. First equation said an axis of finally divided IR is filled up with a solution that contains Cu positive two ions and the system is allowed to come to equilibrium. The solid materials are then filtered off and electrodes of solid copper and solid iron are inserted into the remaining solution. What is the value of ratio of E positive two ions over Cu positive two ions at 25 Celsius? We are going to write the final equation for these two half reactions. So final final equation is Fe plus Cu positive two ions equal Fe positive two ions plus Cu. We will find here that if E is the, the, the anode because uh, he loses uh, electrons and uh, Cu with two ions is the cathode because he gains electrons. So EMF, of EMF equal EMF of cathode minus EMF of anode that's equal positive 0 0.34 minus negative 0 0.45 where gives 0 0.7 T8 Volt. So this is the, e, the, uh, the value of EMF. After that, uh, the law of nearness equation equal EMF equal EMF naught minus 0 0.0591 uh, over number of electron transfer. Number of electron transfer here is 2 by QC in these two half reactions times log uh, Q, which is equilibrium constant. So we will apply in these in this uh, equation first emf equals zero because in this in this question uh, the, the the this reaction happened in equilibrium like he said in question okay and uh, q equal k because this this reaction at equilibrium so emf equals zero emf Minus zero point zero five hundred ninety one over n times log q. So EMF equal zero point zero five hundred ninety one over n times log k. So this is the new version of this law. And uh, k equal the product over the actant. The product here is Fe with two ions over Cu with two ions, and this is the the required in this question. So EMF is equal to uh, 0 0.78 like we get times 2 which is the number of electron transfer over 0 0.0591 which equal to 6.39 and this is the, the value of log k we just need k so k will equal to 10, 10 power uh, 26.39 so the 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 final the final answer for this question is 2.5 times 10 bar 26 so the answer for this question will be c okay the next equation the next equation an axis of finally divided iron is tilted up with solutions that contains cu with of two ions and the system is allowed to come to equilibrium. The finer materials are then filtered off and extruded of solid copper and solid iron and are interested into remaining solution. What potentials develops between these two electrodes at 25 Celsius? So the first step in, uh, in this question, we are going to write the two half reaction then we we know that 
this is is at equilibrium this is uh, this question is at equilibrium this reaction is at equilibrium so the change after equilibrium is zero because the reaction is tends to uh, uh, to equilibrium to the stability condition to condition of stability so the change uh, in emf will be zero so the answer here will be zero okay Question: the, the equilibrium constant at 25 Celsius for the reaction Al plus 3 Cu which is 2 ions equal to L which is 3 ions plus 3 Cu is approximately for the so the first step in this question we are going to write the two half reaction for this reaction so the final equation for this half reaction will be 2 a r after mu after multiply this in 2 and this in 3 to uh, to to to, uh, to uh, make the little transfer in 2 half reaction equal 6 so 2 a r plus 3 c u plus 2 ions equal 2 a r plus 3 ions plus 3 c u so the number of electron transfer here is 6 EMF equal EMF of cation minus EMF of anode. So three point thirty three hundred thirty seven minus negative one point sixty six will equal one point nine nine seven four. So this is the value for EMF. After that, we are going to write the equation for log k equal n times EMF over zero point zero five hundred ninety one. And we know that number of electron transfer here is six multiply EMF is one point nine nine seven like we get it over zero point zero five hundred ninety one and the the final the final value for log k will be two hundred two point seven approximately two two hundred three. After that we are going to calculate the k only. So the k for this for this question would be roughly ten power two hundred three. So the answer for this question will be a. After that, question number ninety-three. A concentration cell is cons constructed with copper electrode and Cu with two ions. In each compartment, in one compartment, the Cu moles of two ions equal one times ten power negative three mole, and in the other compartment, the copper equal two mole. Calculate the potential for this cell at twenty-five Celsius. The standard reduction potential for Cu moles of two ions is moles of zero point thirty-four volt. So the first step in this question. We are going to know the, the value for EMF. So this is, is a concentration cell. And in concentration cell, the, the EMF value equal to zero because it have it have uh, two compartments have the same component Zn and Zn, Cu and Cu. Here we have Cu with two ions and Cu with two ions. So the in concentration cell the EMF equal zero. After that we will try to solve this question by Nernest equation. So EMF of potentials will be zero minus zero point zero five hundred ninety one over two multiply log uh, constant constant uh, uh, equilibrium constant which is q which is the value of the cu uh, with two ions 10 power negative 3 which is the product over two the reactant so the, the final value for the emf will be 0 0.090 0 0.0975 four after that 
the roughly equal answer for this question will be T zero point zero nine two eight volts. So this is for this answer. The next question calculate the solubility product for sulfur iodide at twenty five solutions given the following data. Uh, and these are the three half reactions. So the answer for this question will be by this rule MF equal EMF of cathode minus EMF of anode. So EFF of cathode here is zero point, uh, negative zero point sixteen minus EMF of anode zero point eight. So the the answer the the uh, value of EMF is negative zero point Ninety-five. After that, the nearest equation we will apply it now, uh, and because this is, is at uh, this is reaction is at equilibrium, so the EMF will be zero. So the new version for this rule will be the EMF minus negative or negative zero point zero five nine one over 1 which is the, the n number of atoms field here is 1 electron only multiply the log k which we need it log k will be 0 0.095 over negative 0 0.0591 will be negative 16.07 so the k or the ksb will be 10 power negative 16.07 which equals 8.4 times 10 power negative 17 so the final answer for this question is answer D next question using the following data to calculate the KSB for BBSO4 and these are two half reactions so the first step here EMF equal EMF of cathode minus EMF of anode and EMF of cathode is equal to positive 1.46 minus 1.69 equal negative 0 0.23 volt so this is the value for EMF after that Lernest equation I summarize you to study, some, uh, to study Lernest equation above because it is repeated in this question and because this reaction happened in equilibrium so the EMF will be zero EMF of zero I mean so log k equals n times EMF root over 0 0.0591 equal number of electron constant field here is two as to uh, have reaction Multiply the, the value of EMF which equal negative 0 0.23 volt over 0 0.0591 will be the, uh, negative 7.78. So this is the value for log k. We need uh, k only. So the k will be 10 power negative 7.28 which equal 1.7 times 10 power negative. So this is the answer for this question. Next question. Try to pause the video and answer this question. In which of the following cases must EMF be equal to zero? EMF, we agree that EMF uh, is zero in a cell at equilibrium, and EMF not uh, is equal zero when in concentration cell. Concentration cell means it has it have uh, two compartments have the same contain they have the same contain right see you in uh, one compartment and see you in another compartment and uh, Z Z N positive 2 and Z N positive 2 in the same cell so this is a concentration cell depend on the the component uh, of, of uh, component of the action so the answer here will be in a same at equilibrium. So the EMF note that EMF 
will equal to zero at equilibrium. So the answer will be. You get the question. Which of the following statement is correct? Uh, first, the value of EMF naught is equal to zero in a concentration cell, and the value of EMF is equal to zero in a cell at equilibrium. So I suggest that uh, A is correct, like we said in the previous question. So note that EMF naught is concentration cell in uh, equal to zero. It's equal to zero, and the EMF is in cell at equilibrium is equal to zero so the next question which of the following statement is true about the voltage cell for which emf node cell equals one volt so emf here is positive and if emf uh, was positive uh, this means that this reaction happens in its continuous condition and emf Negative, this means that this reaction happened in non continuous condition. So, this is good. This, this answer for the answer for this question will be E. The reaction is, is continuous, and uh, the reaction is continuous also when the EMF is positive and the delta G is negative. So, if uh, EMF is positive. And EMF and the delta G solely is negative. This is a spontaneous. So this answer, delta G was uh, more than zero. Delta G is positive. So in this, uh, if this option was true, uh, this means that the action uh, in non-spontaneous condition. But here, uh, the EMF is positive. This means that that this action is spontaneous. The next question. If a uh, reducing agent M reacts with a uh, with an uh, oxidizing agent in positive ion, to give M positive ion to plus N, and the equilibrium constant for the action is 1.6, then what is the EMF naught? Value for the condition for the oxidation reduction reaction. So the answer for this question will be the most nearest equation. EMF equal EMF naught minus zero point zero five hundred ninety one over n multiply log equilibrium constant. So this is the action happen in equilibrium constant in equilibrium is uh, in equilibrium condition. So the EMF here will be zero. So the new version for this condition for this equation would be zero equal EMF minus zero point zero eight zero point zero five nine one over number of electrons transfer here is one one ions one ions so the number of electrons transfer here is one multiply log k log k is one point six like like uh, question said. After that, the EMF will be 0.0591 over 1 multiply log 1.6. So the answer for this question will be 0 0.012, 0.0 square volt. So the answer for this question will be A. Next question. If you make a cell, with aluminium recruit in a solution of aluminium nitrate and a zinc recruit in a solution of zinc nitrate. So if you could increase the concentration of the in positive ions, which of the following is true about the cell dish? So we, I have a cell and I have Z in positive two ions is the, the uh, positive two ions here. Sorry. So the first step I will do in this uh, equation, this uh, question, I will uh, write the equation for reaction. 
AL plus 3ZN equals to 2 ions equal to AL equals to 3 ions plus 3ZN and EMF of cell equal EMF of cathode minus EMF of anode here we know that ZN equals to 2 ions is the cathode so if I if I increase the concentration of the cathode if I increase the concentration of the cathode this means that value of EMF will be increased okay if I increase the, the concentration of ZN which represents the EMF of cathode then the EMF of cell will be increased so the correct answer for this question will be A Next question If you increase the concentration of AL to positive 3 ions, which of the following is true about the cell potential? So, I, we agree that AL positive 3 ions here uh, is the anode. So, if I increase the concentration of the anode, the EMF of anode will be increased. And uh, if EMF of anode increases, the EMF of cell will be decreased. Opposite direction, opposite sign. So the correct answer for this question will be B. And the other group, another group for this question would be so the nearness equation. So nearness equation equal EMF equal EMF nu to minus 0 0.591 over n times log the product over reactant. The product here is Al versus 3 ions over Zn. So if I increase the the concentration of Al, the EMF of cell will be decreased, negative, negative or opposite sign. Next question. A concentration cell. Note that concentration cell will have EMF node zero, like we agree before. A concentration cell is construct is constructed using two meter m electrodes with M2 concentration of 0 0.1 mole and 1 times 10 power negative 5 mole uh, in two half cells so uh, uh, the two half cells have this uh, have the same meter M and difference in concentration determine the reducing potential of M plus 2 ions given that potentials of the cell at 25 radius is 0 0.118 so here we need the the reduction potential of m so uh, first first thing we will do here is write the nearness equation after writing the nearness equation we will find that we can know the number of electrons view here n is ambiguous we don't know it so the answer for, for this question cannot be determined with this information so we need the number of electrons pair to be able to answer for this question this is the question what is the emf of the following cell reaction at 25 degrees if emf of cell equal 0. 460 volt so this is the two half reaction Cu equals Cu with two ions plus, elect plus two electron and uh, 0 0.14 mole this is the concentration and Eg with two uh, ions plus electrons will equal to Eg so this is the the uh, this is after the accumulation of two half reaction. So we will write the EMF equal EMF of cathode minus EMF of anode, uh, and uh, EMF of cathode minus EMF of anode is equal to 0 0.460 by quotient said. After that, we will write the nearness equation. Nearness equation. Uh, EMF equal EMF naught minus 0 0.591 over number of electrons per 
multiply log q so here we have uh, emf note is 0 0.460 minus 0 0.0591 over number of electron transfer here is 2 like we say in this in this reaction multiply log product over reaction so product is the Cu with the two ions concentration 0 0.014 mole over the reactant is 2 Ag with the ion so, so Ag is 0 0.2 power 2 the coefficient of Ag okay so the answer for this question will be 0 0.473 4 so the answer would be D next question for the cell Cu Cu with the ions with the two ions Eg with the ions Eg the standard cell potential is 0 0.46 volt still using this the agent was made and the observed potential was 0 0.16 volt at 25 species what is the possible explanation for the observed voltage so uh, in first the potential the standard the cell potential was 0 0.46 and it uh, it decreased to 0 0.16 so uh, uh, what happened in this in this reaction EMF decreased in this reaction so what is the possible explanation we know that the EMF equal EMF of cathode minus EMF of anode okay and if EMF is decreased so the EMF of cathode is decreased and EMF of anode were increased okay are you agree with me so if emf of cathode decrease and if emf of anode increase the total emf of cell will decrease like uh, like in question so i suggest that the, the answer will be the answer will be d because the tu with the two ions here uh, is the, is the anode and the the eg is cathode and the cathode decreased and the anode increased because the potential decreased the of anode could be decreased okay so the answer for this question will be b like we said the concentration of cu with the two ions could be larger than the concentration of ag so the correct answer for this question will be b Okay, let's see what What is the value of the action quotient for the voltaic cell? Concentration from the, fo uh, the following two half reaction. So when the Z input to two ions con uh, concentration is 0 0.0103 mole, and the AG positive concentration is 1.35 mole. So these are two half reaction for the reaction okay first the reaction quotient equals the product over the reactant the concentration of product over the concentration of reactant so the concentration of product here is the n positive 2 and the, the reactant is 2 ag positive ions okay then eg uh, it's a uh, concentration uh, 0 0.103 over uh, eg uh, which concentration it's a concentration 1.35 mole power 2 2 uh, is the coefficient of eg okay so the final answer for this question will be uh, 5.65 multiplied by power negative 3 so the the correct answer would be e okay Question. 
in order to determine the identity of bus equal uh, one said here meter is in uh, a vortex step is uh, construct at uh, 25 degrees with the anode consisting of the uh, Rancidia meter uh, and the electrodes merged in, uh, in a solution of 0 0.0 uh, 819 uh, moles of SM uh, CL3 and the cathode consisting of uh, a copper electrode uh, embraced in a 1 mole DU in O3 2 solution. The two half reaction are as follows. These are the two half reactions. So the meter here is SM. Okay, so uh, show the identity meter will be SM. So I I suggest that the D is the correct answer. Okay, the identity of the meter is the SM than the D. Next. Which of the following statement is the true concerning the electrochemical cell described blue at 25 g So Cu positive 2 ions positive 2 plus 2 ions equals Cu as sol. The EMF here is 0 0.35. So this is one of the tricky questions. First, we are going to buy the half reaction of carbon and uh, the half reaction, the next half reaction. And uh, in this question, said uh, in a concentration, in a concentration cell. So the EMF anode, the EMF uh, node will be zero. Okay, so the EMF equal zero minus zero point zero five hundred ninety one of a number electron transfer scale here is 2 like in this half reaction multiply log Q Q is the the concentration of product over the concentration of reactant so the concentration of product is 0 0.816 okay this is the product Cu positive 2 ion over uh, 0 0.843 mole more okay uh, will equal 4.18 uh, uh, multiply 10 by negative 4 so the, the this equivalent to 0 0.40 0 0.418 million volts okay so the correct answer for this question will be b okay b or b or uh, B or uh, C, but let's but let's uh, B or A, but but let's uh, check. Uh, this EMF is positive, so uh, we said that if EMF is positive, this means that this reaction happened in continuous in is continuous condition. So this is is B. The reaction is continuous with a serve potential of zero point four hundred eighteen millivolts. So the correct answer will be B. Next question. What is the potential of what is the potential of uh, CR and uh, EG positive I And these are two half reactions. Okay. Uh, Fortunately, we are going to write the accumulating uh, equation for these two half reactions, and then. We calculate the value of EMF, which equal EMF is cathode minus EMF is anode. So EMF is cathode, which is Ag. So Ag 0 0.18 My, minus uh, EMF is anode, which is negative 0 0.73, will equal 1.53 volt. Okay. Uh, then we will apply the nearest equation. So EMF equal EMF naught 1.53 minus 0 0.0591 uh, over number electron transfer phase. 
numbers the equation terms appear here is equal to 3 back in this equation multiply log uh, uh, cr positive 3 ions over ag positive ions power 3 3 is a coefficient of ag okay after that we will get the final value for emf is 1.35 volt so the correct answer for this question is b next next question concentration sir work because the standard reduction potential are demanded on concentration no force we said that the concentration sir it depends on the similarity of the component uh, uh, not at the concentration okay the concentration serve have the both compartments contain the same component and doesn't depend on the concentration okay so the answer for this question is false next question consider the hydrogen oxygen fuel uh, uh, fuel cell where H2 plus O2 equal H2O delta G equal negative uh, 237.18 gives you their more hydrogen hydrogen atom hydrogen uh, H2 okay uh, what is the for, what is the following statement is true so uh, uh, we said if delta G is negative it means that this reaction happened in is a continuous condition okay and if the reaction happened in a continuous condition this means that wasted heat will exist in this reaction okay so let's start with the, let's uh, check the, the option at the standard the condition the maximum work uh, the fuel cell could uh, do on the uh, surrounding uh, is 237 0.18 kilojoule per mole yes this is the correct so that in the real world the actual amount of useful work the cell can do uh, is less than uh, 237.18 kilojoule sure, because uh, we said that uh, this reaction Happen in its continuous uh, and uh, uh, weak uh, wasted heat will exist in this reaction. So the actual amount of uh, useful work would be less than the the theoretical value. After that, more energy is dissipated as wasted heat uh, in the fuel. Yes, this is the correct in the reversible. Uh, this way, so I uh, suggest that the final answer for this question would be D. A and B and C are correct. Okay. Next question: What type of battery has been designed for use in speed vehicles? So the answer for this question uh, is uh, fuel cells. So this is question depend on your summarizing. Was the concept okay? The fuel cell have CH3 anode and O2 cathode, and uh, it is designed suitable for this vehicle. So, the correct answer would be the fuel cell D. Okay, second, second question Which is the following statement about battery is force? Okay, battery is a group of galvanic cells connected in series. Yes, this is correct. Read the storage batteries contain lead uh, and the anode and the, 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 the and the lead coat with the lead dioxide as the cast. So this is correct. So that the alkaline device battery can last stronger than a nickel a nickel aluminum battery. No, this is not correct. So I suggest the answer will be C. Let me check. So this is question also with, uh, due to your summarizing uh, to the concept for the concept. No, the nickel condom battery a cathodic protection. Therefore, it's less more than 
a client license okay for the for the acceptance of dc which is the following statement about corrosion is false first patina is the layer of tarnishium that uh, gives a uh, 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 silver additional appearance no this is correct because uh, patina eroded expeditiously and rapidly than silver okay so this is, is not correct so the answer for this question will be Next question, what is the for what which of the following statements is false? Ten stainless steel cell, stainless steel contains aluminium uh, and nickel. Which of four conductive oxide coating? Yes, that's correct. Uh, galvanized uh, steel is coated with zinc to form an oxide coating. No, this is not correct. This is not correct. You can check. Yes, zinc is less oxide than steel. Zinc is less oxide than uh, than uh, steel. So of course, the zinc will, will form an anodic protection, not a cathodic protection or oxide coating like said in the option. So the correct answer for this question will be B. Okay, so that how many Faradays are involved in conversion of a mole of Fe2O3 to FeO2? So, number of Faraday equals to number of moles multiplied number of electron transfer phase. So, number of moles here is 1, a mole multiplied number of electron transfer also is 1. So, the Final answer is one for the day. The answer is A. After that, how many moles of electron are reduced from a current 14.4 ampere in 3.20 hours? So this is question uh, is uh, very easy. Q equals N F. N is the number of moles multiplied number of electrons. Multiply for the day constant. Okay. So number of moles. So number of moles equal Q over F. Q equal current times time over for the day. Okay. So current is 14.4 ampere. Multiply 3.2 hours. So I convert it to seconds. So I multiply uh, 3.2 by 16 times 16 over for a day for a day's constant uh, 96485. So the final answer for this question will be B 1.22 mole. Okay, and this uh, this is the the, cor the correct answer. Okay, are you combined me? So that. A common car battery consists of six uh, identi uh, identical cells, each of uh, each of which carries out the reaction BB plus BBO2 plus 2HO4 negative ions plus 2H negative ions equals 2BBSO4 plus 2H2O. Suppose that in starting car of a cold uh, of a cold morning uh, a current of 125 amperes is drawn for 18.4 seconds okay from a series of the time described above how many grams of bb would be consumed so this is a very easy question and uh, this is low is answer this question so i I need the number of grams, so I need mass. So mass equals Q times the atomic mass over variancy multiplied for the constant. Okay. 
to uh, q equal comment times time k to the comment is 125 multiply 18.4 seconds okay multiply the atomic mass for the lead is 207.19 over the Faraday constant uh, 96485 multiply the variance the variance here is 2 okay 2 the variance for the uh, BB is 2 so the correct answer would be 2.47 grams the answer is B and anti Q uh, automobile uh, bumper is to be a uh, chrome plate the bumper which is uh, debit into an uh, acidic cr207 negative 2 ion solution serves as a cathodic of an electrolytic serve the atomic mass of cr is uh, 5.1 uh, 996 uh, and number of a day is 1 number of a day 1 equal uh, 96485 uh, like we know okay if the oxidation of H2O occurred at the anode how many moles of, of oxygen gas were evolved from every 151 grams of CR double okay so I will solve this question by two by two methods first the mass equal the mass multiply multiply for the constant equal q times atomic mass over currency so I need q which equal f times mass times currency over atomic mass f is nine six four a5 okay multiply the mass the mass is equal to 151 gram multiply the variance here is 3 okay the variance here is 3 over the atomic mass is uh, 51.996 so the the charge here is 840597.45 uh, colon this is the, the value for charge after that we know that q equal n f q equal n f so n will be q over f okay q over f q we get it before okay over f nine six four eight five so the number of electron multiply number of mole will be 9.714 okay uh, so the number of electron transfer here is 2 number of electron transfer here is 2 so the number of mole only will be 8.714 over 2 will equal 4.36 mole so this is the final answer for this question If the current is 10 amperes, how long will it take to uh, deposit uh, 105 grams of CR onto the bomb? First, uh, Q equal NF. Q equal NF. So here I need I need the time. Okay. Q equal current multiplied time. Correct. Current multiply time times equal in multiply for the constant so time only will be n multiply f over carbon okay so number of moles here equals mass over molar mass so the mass is 105 grams over the molar mass of cr is uh, 52 roughly 52 multiply Number of electron transfer is six. Okay, number of electron transfer is six. Multiply for the day constant nine six four eight five over ten, which is the value for current ten ampere. 
this equal to this huge number of seconds. So uh, this this number is equivalent to 1.35 days. So the final answer for this question will be B. Okay. Next. Copper is uh, electroplated from TU's or four solution. A constant current of 0.19 ampere is applied by an external power supply. How long will it take to deposit 1 multiply 10 uh, square gram of Cu? Okay. Uh, uh, the atomic mass of the atomic mass of copper is 63.546. So here we need the time. How long we need the time? Well, the previous question T equal time equal N multiply F over R. N number of moles equal the mass over molar mass. Mass is 100 over the molar mass is this, rock, is this, this number multiply 2, which is the number of electron transfer. Multiply 9640185. Over the the three point nineteen, which is the value for the current, and this equals all the huge number in second. So this number is equivalent to uh, to uh, to twenty six point four hours. So the correct answer for this question will be A. Next question. What quantity of charge is required to reduce 27.8 gram of CrCl3 to coulombium meter? Okay. Uh, here I need the quantity of a charge. I need Q. Okay. So Q equals NF. Okay. N is equal to no, uh, mass over molar mass. Mass is 27.8 over molar mass for the CR CL3 is uh, uh, 51.996 plus 3 multiplied uh, 30, uh, 30, uh, 35.5 multiplied for a day's constant will be uh, uh, 16 uh, 923 colon. So this uh, number is equivalent to A. 1.2 6 to 9 multiplied in work. Okay, so the answer will be A. Next question. Electrolysis of molten salt with the moral MCL using a current of 3.86 ampere for 16.2 minutes deposit 1.52 grams of meter. Identify the meter. Okay, this is, is one of the tricky questions. And uh, for a day is equal to uh, 96485. Uh, okay, so here I try to get the molar mass to know the uh, the meter. Okay, this I will use this flow Q equal N F. Okay, and I try to get the value for N. So N equal Q over F. Q equal current multiply time. So the current is 3.86 multiplied 16.2 minutes. I convert it to seconds. So I will multiply it by 60 over the Faraday's constant. So I will get 0 0.0388 uh, more times electron. Okay. So number of moles equal mass over molar mass. Uh, we know that number of electrons on the field here is one, so this is uh, this, this number is four more only. So number of vector, uh, number of moles equal mass over molar mass equal one point fifty two over molar mass equal this number. Okay, so the molar mass will be one point fifty two over zero point two hundred eighty eighty eight will be thirty nine point zero eight gram per mole. So this is atomic mass or this is molar mass uh, is for the K, okay, potassium. 
okay this is the the more mass so the what so the answer for this question will be c next if a constant current of 5 ampere is based through a cell containing cr plus 3 ions for 1 hour how many gram of cr will break out onto the cathode and the atomic mass of cr is uh, 5.996 okay so here i i want the the gram the mass okay i'll find this question by uh, two methods two different methods first n equal q over f q is uh, 60 okay multiply 60 multiply 5 time multiply current over for the constant 0 0.186 more per more times electron and number of electron transfer here is 3 okay number of electron transfer here is 3 uh, so number of electron uh, number of moles only would be 0 0.186 over 3 would be this number okay and we know that number of moles equal mass over more mass so mass will be more more mass times number of moles okay so this number multiplies the more mass will be 0 0.2 gram so the answer for this, for this question will be C. Okay. Let's try to get this answer by a different method. Both video and try to get it by different method. Another way to calculate this question is mass equal Q multiply atomic mass over parenthesis times F. Okay. And Q is uh, 60 times 60 times 5 so it is uh, 3 uh, 30 uh, 3600 multiply 5 multiply 5.996 over valency is 3 okay multiply all these constants will get the same answer for this question so the final answer and ultimate answer is C If an uh, electrolysis plant operates its electrolyte cell at a total current of 1.8 times 10 power 6 ampere, how long will it take to produce one metallic ton? One metallic ton is mean one billion gram 10 power 6 of Mg from seawater containing Mg plus 2. Okay, so here I need the time. So time equal uh, N multiply f over i okay n is the number of moles multiply the number of electron transfer so number of moles equal mass over molar mass mass is 1 million okay 1 million over molar mass is uh, 24.3 molar mass for magnesium multiply number of electron transfer here is 2 okay multiply the Faraday's constant over the current will exist this huge number of seconds so i this number is equivalent to 1.2 hours so the correct answer for this question is e okay naked nickel is electrolyzed from uh, niso4 solution a uh, constant current of 5.5 .5 ampere is applied by an external power supply how long will it take to deposit uh, 100 gram of Ni? The atomic mass of, uh, of Ni nickel is 58.69. Uh, uh, okay, here we are, we are going to get the time. So time equal N multiply F over current. Okay, so number of moles is 100 over uh, the moral mass multiply the number of electron sphere here is 2. Okay, uh, we can calculate the number of electron sphere by calculating the oscillation number of this meter. Nickel. Okay, multiply the Faraday's constant over 5.5. 5. 
so we'll get that 16.6 we'll get the answer which is 16.6 hours okay so the answer for this question is a this question is repeated and easy so you can solve uh, by yourself uh, if you understood the, the idea of the problem next a solution of MnO4 negative two ions is electro is electrolytically uh, is electric, uh, electrolytically uh, reduced to Mn both three ions uh, a current of 8.07 ampere is best to smooth the solution from uh, for sorry for uh, 15 minutes what is the number of moles of Mn both three reduced in this process okay I need the number of moles so n equal n equal uh, q over f q is 16 multiply 15 multiply the current okay i convert uh, 15 minutes to second multiply the current over the Faraday's constant we equal 0 0.0527 more times electrons okay so number of electrons transfer here is 3 Number of electrons transferred here is 3. Okay, so I have divided this number over 3 to get the number of moles only. So this is the number of moles. So the final answer for this question is D. Next, how many seconds will it take to deposit 18.2 gram of AG at its atomic mass 107.87? Uh, from a solution of AgNO3 using a current of 10 ampere. Okay, I try to get the time. Okay, so time equals n multiplied by f over i. n number of moles is uh, 18.2, which is mass of the uh, of the Ag over 107.87. Multiply for this constant. Because the number of electrons here here is one, so I didn't write it. I didn't write uh, write it over the value of the current ten will equal to this number. So I convert it uh, to get the answer uh, in the option. So uh, this equivalent to one point sixty three times ten power three seconds. Okay. So the answer for this question is D. So that. Gold atomic mass equal 197 is created from a solution of uh, chlor chloritic acid uh, HAUCl4 and deposit on the cathode. Calculate the time it takes to deposit 0.3 gram of gold using a current 0.1 ampere. Okay, I try to get the time. Time equal n times f over i. Okay. N equals the mass over the molar mass. The mass is 0 0.3 grams over the molar mass is 197. Multiply the number of electrons fail. So to get the number of electrons fail here, we can calculate the oxidation number of AU. Okay, if you calculate the oxidation number of, U, of AU, we will get 3. Multiply Faraday's constant over Coming, so we'll get this number. So I convert it to get the answer. So the answer is 1.2 hours. So the final answer for this question is B. Okay, next, and uh, a new meter M is electrolyzed is to talk uh, 74.1 seconds. For a current of 2 ampere to place 0.107 gram of meter from a solution containing M in O3 by 3. Identify the meter. So this question is similar to uh, similar to a uh, previous question we uh, we uh, we solved it. First, we are going to get the molar mass for this meter to know what is it. Okay. First, Q equal nf. I'll get the number of moles. 
to n equal q over f 2 multiplied by 7, uh, 7.4.1 over 96.48 pi. So this equals this number more multiply vector. Okay. So number of electron transfer here is three. Okay, number of electron transfer here is three. So I divided this number over three to get the number of moles ordinary. Okay, number of moles equal mass over molar mass. Okay, mass is zero point one zero seven. Okay, mass is zero point one hundred seven. Over molar mass equals this number. So the molar mass will be 0 0.07 over this uh, this number will get uh, to, to, uh, 209 gram per mole. Okay, so this is the okay. Uh, this is the molar mass for one of these meters. So let's just check the periodic table to get uh, what is the meter. Okay, the meter is BI. So the B is the answer. Okay. This is, is the, the the number of moles, the mass over number of moles. Make it. Gold is produced uh, electrochemically from an aqueous solution of AU Cn by 2 negative ion containing an excess of Cn negative. Gold meter and oxygen gas are produced at, at the electrode. How many moles of O2 would be produced during the production of one mole of gold? Okay, first we're going to write the 12 reaction. Okay. And uh, if I accumulating with this two half action, I will find that the ratio between oxygen uh, uh, between oxygen and uh, AU gold will be four to one. Okay, so the the ratio of oxygen to AU would be one to four. So if I produce what uh, if uh, the production of uh, gold with one okay with one so the production of oxygen will be 0 0.25 okay so the answer for this question is a next what mass of ti may be deposited from an equus ti cl2 solution if a current of 2.5 ampere is applied to the solution for 365 seconds, okay, and the EMF of Ti is 1.63 volt, and the Faraday's constant is 96.485. So the mass is equal Q multiplied atomic mass of our currency multiplied Faraday's law, okay, Q is equal. Current multiply the second the time in second. So 2.5 multiply 365 multiply the atomic mass. Okay, the atomic mass for the Ti from the periodic table equals 47.88 over 2 multiply the this constant. So the answer for this question will be 0.200. 60 gram. So the answer is D. Okay. For that, what mass of chromium could be deposited by electrolysis of an ex of, uh, of an uh, equal solution of Cr2 uh, SO4 by 3 for 145 minutes using a, co a constant current of 11 ampere. Okay. Try to so, uh, try to pause video and uh, solve this question. The answer for this question would be through this law: mass equal Q multiplied atomic mass of a variance 
multiply the all of these questions. Okay. Q is the 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 current multiply the time. Okay. The current is eleven multiply the uh, the time in second will be one point four to five minutes multiply sixteen multiply the atomic mass from the periodic table will be uh, 50, uh, 50, 52 over variancy is 3 and the variancy is 3 over uh, 96485 so this equals 17.2 grams ok so note that uh, when you get the mass of an element you just uh, get the, its, uh, its uh, atomic mass not the atomic mass for, uh, for, all, uh, for all groups for all molecules you just uh, uh, take the atomic mass for its elements okay after that after that the next question which of the following are incorrectly uh, bare okay the answer is E all of these is correct Ammonium it's, uh, is uh, oxidized to pure ammonium oxide and all of these options are true. Okay. Which of the following used to more bushes than gold or silver due to the precautions uh, refining it? Okay. So first uh, I we, I think that ammonium is a correct answer because it's oxidized exponentially than the other option. Okay, so uh, ammonium is tricky to refine it. What are the products of the chloroalkyl process? So this question is due to your formalizing the concept. So from its from its name, we can uh, anticipate that it, it consists of sodium hydroxide and chlorine. Okay, so the correct answer for this question will be D. After that, balance the equation acidically. So, this is uh, answer the question Cr2O7 okay, equal to Cr2 3 so I will add uh, 7H2O because here we ha I have 7 oxygen so this is the half, the half reaction and this is the other ok next question question number 137 balance the following equation ZN plus AS2O3 equals ASH3 plus ZN positive 2 so I will uh, I will solve this problem and uh, balance this equation in uh, acidic solution. Okay, so the first half reaction is ZN equal ZN positive 2. Okay, ZN equal ZN positive 2. So I have add uh, two, uh, two ions, two negative ions to make this side equalize the, the other side. Here will be have uh, zero nucleus and uh, the, the left side. Uh, also nutrients uh, the second half reaction is 2 3 equal as h3 okay here I have three oxygen uh, so in, uh, in, the in the right side I, uh, I should add uh, three water molecule uh, to uh, to gain uh, three uh, oxygen atom okay uh, after that I found that I had uh, in the right side six halogen. Okay, the four I add uh, six halogen. But here I have six halogen two. Okay, six plus six is twelve. So here I add twelve halogen positive. Okay, after that I find that uh, this uh, side uh, has. Uh, zero or nutrients okay so uh, in this side I have add two electron to make uh, the left this left side uh, neutral okay 
after that I, I find that here I have two electrons and here I have 12 electrons so here I multiply this half reaction by 6 to make the number of electron transfer equal 12 in both half reaction okay so after accumulating uh, these two half reaction I find that uh, this uh, equation is uh, the final balance equation for this reaction okay next question Burn the following equation MnO4 negative 1 plus Br negative 1 equal MnO2 uh, plus BrO3 negative uh, first uh, I uh, I know that MnO4 negative in the left side uh, equal MnO2 okay therefore uh, I'll add uh, in uh, the side 2H2O okay here I have 2 uh, uh, two oxygen and 2 oxygen 4 like the other side and uh, here I have 4, uh, four uh, hydrogen I have add here 4 hydrogen positive plus 3 electrons okay plus 3 electrons to neutralize this side uh, in second half reaction I have Br negative equal Br O3 negative okay Br negative equal Br O3 negative so here I have add 3H2O to be have uh, 3 oxygen like the other side okay and here I have 6 halogen and here I added 6 halogen positive plus 6 electrons after that I found that here I have 3 electrons and here I have 6 electrons so I, we, I should neutralize uh, the two half reaction uh, in number of electron transfer so I multiply this side by 2 to neutralize number of electron transfer at 6 electrons okay after that I am accumulating this, these two half reaction and the, the ultimate uh, uh, the ultimate equation in base is H2 plus 2NO4 negative plus BR negative equal 2NO2 plus BRO3 negative plus 2OH negative okay after that question number 138 burn the following equation PI OH uh, by 3 plus SNO2 negative 2 equal BI plus uh, SNO3 negative 2 uh, okay uh, but here I, uh, I will uh, burn this equation uh, in basic solution so I will never add uh, hydrogen atoms after that I have BIOH uh, by 3 in the, in the left side and in the uh, right side I have BI only so I will add 3H2O to make the, the number of oxygen here 3 and the other side 3 also after that I found that uh, I found that in the left side I have uh, 6 uh, hydrogen so I will add 3 hydrogen positive in the left side uh, plus 3 hydrogen to be the, the same number of the left of the left side plus 3 electrons to make the side neutrons ok after that here I have SnO2 minus 2 equal SnO3 minus 2 so here I have add H2O ok to make the number of oxygen 3 like the other side ok and here I have 2 uh, hydrogen I added them in the next side plus 2 electrons so here I multiply this half reaction by 2 to uh, make the number of electrons on the sphere here is 6 and in the next half reaction I multiply by 3 to make uh, this half reaction uh, or sorry the, 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 the number of electrons on the sphere in this half reaction is 6 or ok after accumulating this these two half reaction I found that I have 2 by OH by 3 plus 3 SN O2 negative 2 equal 2 by plus 3 SN O3 negative 2 plus 3 H2O ok next 140 
consider a galvanic cell with a zinc electrode uh, emerged in one more uh, Zn positive 2 and a silver electrode emerged in one more Ag positive 2 what is the anode okay we know that emf of cell equal emf of cathode minus emf of anode okay uh, so the emf of cathode is larger than the em the emf of anode okay so the emf of anode is smaller than the cathode so uh, the emf of, uh, of anode is negative 0 0.76 so the anode is zn okay so the anode is zn not zn positive okay After that, balance the following redox, redox uh, equation in acidic solution. What is the coefficient of water uh, in this equation? CH3OH plus CR2O7 negative 2 equal CH2O plus CR positive 3. So the answer for this question is uh, CH3OH equal CH2O. Okay? So here I had four halogen, and here I have two only. So I add two halogen plus two electrons to neutralize the number of uh, the number of the number of positive ions. Okay. In the next type of reaction, I have Cr two O seven negative two equal to Cr positive three. So here I make oxygen. Here I have seven. Oxygen, so here I add seven water molecules, uh, seven H2O. Here I found I had that I had 14 uh, hydrogen atom, and in the other side I add the same number 14. After that, I add here uh, six uh, electrons, okay, six electrons to make the number the, the number of electrons on the here is six, and here I multiply this equation by 3 to make the number of electron transfer here also 6 okay so after accumulating i found that the uh, coefficient of water is 7 so the answer is e okay the answer for this question is e next question 142 balance the following redox equation in acidic solution what is the coefficient of the h positive ions so this is the same uh, the same uh, equation that uh, we uh, balanced it brevi in previous question, uh, and we get the number of hydrogen, the, the, co the number of the coefficient of hydrogen atom is eight. Okay, so the answer is E also. So that balance the following redox equation in acidic solution. What is the coefficient of water? Okay, uh, M in O4 negative equal AM in positive 2. Okay, so here I'll add 4 H2O, 4 H2O to make the number of oxygen atom is 4 like the other side, and I'll add in the next side 8, uh, 8 hydrogen atom, okay, plus 5 electrons. In the negative, uh, in, uh, in, uh, the, in, the, in the next half reaction, I have H2O2 equal O2. So here I must add 2H positive plus 2 electrons. Okay? So I found here that I have in the first half reaction 5 electrons and in the next 2 electrons. So I must equalize the number of, the number of uh, electron transfer. So here I multiply this uh, half reaction by 2 and the next by 5. To make the number of electron transfer is 10. Okay. After that, I found that the coefficient of water is 8. Okay. So the answer for this question is D. Next question. Balance the following redox equation in acidic solution. What is the coefficient of the hydrogen positive ions? Okay. The same the same equation for the previous question. And I think that uh, we uh, we get the coefficient of hydrogen atom in the previous. Yes, 
the the coefficient of hydrogen atom is six, so the correct answer will be C. Okay, does it? Balance the following product reaction in basic solution. What is the coefficient of water? Okay, first I have MnO two negative equal NHSV. Okay, so here I add four OH negative, and in the next side I add two H two O plus three electrons. Okay. Uh, note that in basic solution we never add halogen, and in basic solution uh, we, uh, we we just add uh, OH hydroxide or uh, or water. Water is added in basic solution and in acidic solution. Okay, but the the the, the molecules that alter among uh, basic and uh, acidic is halogen atom or hydroxide group. Okay. So I found that here I have three electrons and here I have six electrons. So I, I multiply this half reaction by two to equalize the number of electrons of the sphere uh, by six. Okay. After that, I accumulate two half reaction and I found that the coefficient of water is one. Okay. So the answer is A. Next question. Burn the following redox equation. In basic solution, what's the coefficient of hydroxide ion? Okay, this is, is uh, the same for previous question. So the the coefficient of hydroxide was one also. So the answer is A for this question. Next, balance the following redox equation in basic solution. What is the coefficient of water? MnO4 negative plus HCOOH equal MN positive 2 plus CO2 okay so MNO4 negative equal MN positive 2 so here I have add uh, uh, 8OH negative and in the other side I have add 4H2O plus 5 electrons and in the next uh, half reaction HCOOH equal uh, CO2 so here I must add uh, 2H2O and in the other side I add 2OH negative so I found that I have in this in these two have reaction different of electrons so I have multiplied this equation by 2 and this by 5 to make the number of electrons of the sphere is 10 after that I found that the number uh, or the coefficient water is 2 so the correct answer is a next question balance the following redox equation in basic solution what is the coefficient of hydroxide ion so this is the, the same for previous question and we get it before so the coefficient of hydroxide is 6 so the correct answer for this question is c next Uh, the, the reduction potential to meter of uh, BA positive 2 is negative 1.57 vo uh, volt given that the cell potential for the reaction 3BA plus 2LA uh, positive 3 equals 3BA positive 2 plus 3LA plus 2LA sorry is 0 0.52 so here I have the cell potential is uh, 0 0.52 and I have the EMF of anode negative uh, 1.57 so here I, 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 I need the EMF of LA positive 3 which is the cathode okay so the EMF of cathode will equal uh, 0 0.52 which is the EMF of cell minus the EMF of cathode of the anode sorry 1.57 so the the answer for this question will be uh, will be D okay the answer for, the, for this question will be D next a voltage cell consists of a Cu positive 2 over Cu electrode it's EMF 0.34 and an AU positive 3 over AU electrode 
uh, extreme if 1.5 volt calculate the the concentration of AU positive 3 if CU positive 2 equal 1.2 uh, more and the EMF of cell uh, as all is 1.13 volt okay this is a very easy question we'll get by the uh, the nearest equation after calculating the the node EMF the node EMF equal EMF of cathode minus EMF of anode like we know the cathode is uh, it's a value 1.5 okay the cathode which is AU cathode minus the anode uh, CU uh, 0.34 so the aim is the EMF node is 1.16 volt after that we will apply nearest equation for this question so EMF equal 1.13 okay equal 1.16 minus 0.0, .0 uh, 591 over the number of electron transfer so the number of electron transfer here is 6 okay if we wrote the, the 12 reaction we will find that the number of electron transfer is 6 multiply log q q that we uh, need to calculate the concentration of AU positive 3 after that I calculate the log q that equal 3.045 uh, after that I calculate Q only, so Q will equal 10 power 3.045, okay, which equal uh, 11.10.9. After that, we know that uh, Q equal the concentration of a product over the concentration of reactant. So the concentration of product is Cu positive, positive 3, a uh, positive 2 uh, power 3. 3 is the coefficient of the cover over the AU positive 3 power 2 the coefficient of AU uh, after that the CU positive 2 is 1.2 okay 1.2 more uh, power 3 over AU positive 3 power 2 so AU 3 power 2 is 1.55 uh, times 10 power negative 3 after that EU only will take the root for this uh, for this number so the the correct answer for this question is C 0 0.04 molar okay so uh, if we observe it and deduct it in this question we will find that the difference between the concentration equals the difference between the serum tension so the difference between the concentration here is here is 0 0.3 and here also will be 0 0.3 okay 0 0.34 uh, minus 0 0.04 will equal 0 0.3 and here 1.5 minus 1.2 will equal also 0 0.3 so this is uh, an avitr point we must take into consideration uh, in this problem after that final question the reduction potential to the metal of uh, BA positive 2 is negative 1.57 volt and uh, that of uh, CU positive 2 is positive 0.34 volt the three potential for the reaction BA plus CU positive 2 equal uh, BA positive 2 plus CU is therefore so here I need to calculate the cell potential so cell potential is equal the emf of cathode minus emf of anode emf of cathode is equal 0 0.34 most of 0 0.34 the cathode cu positive 2 minus the emf of anode the anode here is ba which equal negative 1.57 okay so the answer for this question will be e okay the answer for this question is E. Thank you for watching. This is the, the session for this video. If you like this video, please support us by your subscribe. Thank you.